Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at Master Splinter himself, Scory Scary Cory Perry. Yeah, say that three times as fast as you can, eh? We'll take a look at his player statistics, his contract, and just how big of a beast this man has been for the Habs since he cracked the lineup this season. Cause, uh, once he got in, he never did come back out. But first, if you guys are a fan of these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys tagged along for the ride. Now, Corey Perry had a decent playoffs last season for the Dallas stars he put up some big veteran like numbers in there and then he found out that uh he wasn't necessarily involved in the future plans of the dallas stars so therefore he became a free agent at the end of the year and there was even some speculation if maybe just maybe good old Corey Perry may consider hanging up the skates and calling it a career. However, good old Mark Bergevin, you know, who was pretty busy during the offseason, he figured, hey, every season we lose guys due to injuries and then bam, shit hits the fan. This Corey Perry guy, maybe he can be the hero that comes in and cleans the fan and removes the shit from it. So he goes out and signs Corey Perry to a very reasonable contract value at $750,000. My reaction right now to this signing is, damn, that's $750,000 that was well spent by the Habs. You can't complain from a production standpoint. Corey Perry has been incredible. But, you see, at the time, I didn't really like the guy. You know, I couldn't believe that Corey Perry was going to be wearing a Habs jersey. It just seemed kind of odd to me. But hey, right now, he's been a pure blessing for the team, and I'm so happy to have him around the team not only because of his production but also as like uh, a mother figure for the kids oh god that's a terrible example a father figure actually at 35 years old i feel like his biggest issue is definitely his speed he consistently shows great hands and vision and of course his great shot is always on display these areas of his game are his bread and butter and this is why he has potted 50 goals in his career and was a very consistent 30 goal scorer in the past as you can see here from looking at his statistics. Corey Perry actually started this year on the taxi squad with the team. I had my doubts that he would ever become a lock in the lineup. I figured hey maybe if two three guys go down Corey Perry might be around for a while. But when Yoel Armia received that vicious headshot from that giraffe in a Canucks jersey, Tyler Myers, Corey Perry was called upon. Yeah, he was summoned by Claude Julien. And uh, right from the very beginning, he stepped in and started producing. He really didn't take things for granted when he suited up for the halves. He laid it all out there. And then when Joel Armia came back and the lineup was relatively healthy again, the coaching staff was forced forced to leave Perry in the lineup. They couldn't get rid of him, as the guy was putting up points every other game. So, I mean, whether you're a fan of Corey Perry or not, he's been a really good story for the Habs so far this season, and he's also a guy that kind of gets overlooked. Which is why, you know, considering I was a guy who was skeptical of this signing, and yes, I know it was only 750 grand, it was far from a risk, but even so, I was kind of skeptical about Perry joining the team, so the least I can do is own up to that and give the guy some praise, because because he definitely deserves it. I mean, let's be real here. Who would have thought that Corey Perry would have 20 points this season in 45 games so far? He has four more goals than Kakaniemi and Phil Deneau. He's got seven more goals than Jonathan Drouin. So yeah, that is 750,000 bucks that were well spent. He also seems like he's developing a nice relationship with our little bundle of joy, Cole Caulfield, which is great to see. I mean, that kid definitely needs a mentor. As you know, he already has some crazy high expectations with the club. And I can only imagine the feeling for a young kid like Caulfield going from Wisconsin all the way up to the Habs. A dream come true right now. And playing on a team with a guy like Corey Perry? Woohoo! That must just be awesome for the pups. And you really gotta think, with the playoffs just around the corner, I think this is a guy that could be a huge help at this time of the year. The whistles get put away a little more, and Perry, you know, he's such an irritating pest of a player for the opposite team to deal with. He's gonna be a thorn in the sides out there as much as he can. He's gonna go to the net. He's gonna get in the goalie's face. He's gonna smack talk. He's gonna drop the gloves if he has to spark the team. <sighs> yeah. 
Give it up for my man. Now, before I go, I'm just going to throw this out there. I see a lot of guys entertaining the idea of bringing Ilya Kovalchuk back with the Habs next season. As you know, Kovalchuk really enjoyed his time here, apparently. And the guy just finished his playoff run over in the KHL. And word is, the man wants to return to the NHL again. But I don't know, guys. This may be an unpopular opinion of mine. But if the Habs are thinking it's a good idea to bring in a veteran forward or try and hang on the one that they already have I would pick Corey Perry over Eric Stahl I would pick him over Michael Frolik and even Ilya Kovalchuk. Honestly, I think Kovalchuk is going to command a little more money. And who knows? Maybe Corey Perry would consider signing another one-year deal. Maybe for a million or even 750000 again. I don't know. But after what I've seen this season from Corey Perry, who can play anywhere in the lineup and even look dangerous with minimal minutes on the fourth line, I'm taking this guy all day long over any of the other guys that I mentioned. And I want to know what you guys feel about this. It's not a bad thing having one old fart lift on the team and for a contract like that I don't know I just really like what Perry has done for the team so far this season and if they're thinking about bringing another guy of that caliber back next season well why not choose Perry again anyway guys that does it for this video like I said let me know your thoughts on Corey Perry in the comment section don't forget to hit that like button on the way out of here and I'll see you next time